What's up, everybody? Today, we are going to celebrate the wonderful letter M, uh, as in March. And we're going to see if we can add on to our 155-day streak. And it's, can you believe it again, guys? I mentioned this last Wordle, but we are very close to celebrating Wordle number 1000. That is going to be an epic, historic, landmark moment in the world of uh, Wordle, isn't it? Um, so let's go ahead and have some fun celebrating the the, the, the absolutely delightful letter M. My daughter uh, is Maya. And so, actually, hmm, I wonder if we could do a word to honor her. How about Mayan, as in the Mayan civilization? Yes, it takes it, that's great. And oh, Maya, thank you so much. Thank you so much. She got me an A and an N right at the tail end. Now, we do have to continue to use the M. That's the whole purpose of the challenge. It's not just for the first word. So the only way we could do it in two is if it was the correct answer, right? You are allowed to terminate the challenge as long as it's the answer. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't. No, it's ramen wouldn't be spelled that way. It's R-A-M-E-N. Um, what actually would this be? Huh. E, okay, this is interesting. Um, wow, interesting, interesting. What would this word be if I were to try to go for it? Um, oh, I see. It could be like groan. That would be a good one. It could be groan. Groan, right? I don't think we've had that. That would be pretty interesting. Groan. There's probably some others, but let's try out groan. Um, so how about groom, right? Groom would be a great guess. My goodness, that would actually do two challenges at the same time because we would literally, if it were groan, spell out the word in advance, which is one of my other challenges. Um, please let it be, please let it be groan so that I can see the GRO. No, but we're making progress. Interesting. Um, so... Come on, we got to get this now. Oh, so is it going to be... All right, let's start with R-E-A-N. Um, I don't really see anything there, surprisingly. So now we'll go I-A-N. Um, I mean, Brian would be a boy's name, but I don't think that would work. Now let's try U-A-N. I don't see that either. So Y A N? What am I missing? What am I missing? I mean, it couldn't, I don't think it's it's not gonna be this word. It wouldn't even make sense because we only have one A. Um, that doesn't make any sense. So come on, what's going on here? Um, Brian, Brian, Brian. Okay, wow, this is strange. I mean, it's, oh, it could actually still be, so the thing is, it could still be a consonant, a consonant there. So we have to look at something like, yeah, okay. Um, I don't look, I don't think that looks good because then you do really have to have a of a, a, a vowel up front, I think. Jeez, um, this turned out to be a hard one. Um, I don't think that looks right. I already tried the U and the I. Not P. Uh, Urson, Orson, I don't think that looks right. That looks funny. Oh, it's not Oregon. Um, Urfan, that doesn't look right. I don't think that's correct. I don't think it would be a J. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a K. Erlin, what the heck is this word? Um, oh, urban, uh, K. 
Okay, I'm going to go for it. Finally, you guys must have been screaming, what the heck, Art? It's obviously urban. I'm willing to go for the guess. I'm really happy we did groom, even though I would have liked to have gotten the groom. That would have been cool. But I think this the R there and the A in there with what's left, I'm pretty sure we can go for the three. I don't recall this word. Did we get urban in three thanks to using my daughter's name? Yes, we did. Thank you, Maya. There you go, guys. That was pretty good, um, despite that taking a few minutes for me to figure out. Um, and it's funny, I do think that groom may have been a pretty solid guess. You can let me know, guys, in the comments if I really just had urban left. I don't think I saw too many others, if anything. So there you have it. Let's please go ahead and take a look to see what letter we're going to honor for tomorrow's Wordle. We'll do it in the Infinite Wordle Challenge. Okay, guys. So we have M that we did today. I think that worked out nicely. And so have you ever heard of an MD? Of course you have. So we are going to do D. Um, cause of course that would be like a medical doctor. And so I thought that would be a fitting, um, dual. So let's honor the beautiful letter D. I love it because it stands for dog and they really are amazing pets. We have two of them. Uh, how about if we do doggy? I think that would be a kid. That'd be very cute. I might start with doggy tomorrow too. So there you have it. Doggy got us nothing. So let's continue. You have to keep, you know, if you're going to honor a letter, you don't just use it once, right? You got to use it throughout your guesses. Um, how about drain? And there we go. We've got some action now. Uh, we could do ardor um, just to position the R and maybe the A and introduce the O. Okay. Um, so now we're probably looking at this. Um, could I like to do... Um, let's see... Got to continue to use the D. That's what makes this a little bit challenging. Um, hmm. T U. Uh, let me just see here. Let's get maybe let's get a C, a T, a D involved. Um, how about ducks? That that actually looks pretty good. Um, and I'm actually getting four brand new letters out of the deal. Okay. I'm not doing very much with the placing, and I'm not getting anything, so and now I'm getting a little bit nervous. This is just a trial. It's just a trial version. It's tomorrow that counts, because that's when you know, you know you're know, you on your actual account of Wordle, and everything is at stake. So I'm in big trouble, actually, aren't I? Oh, shoot. And I overlooked. It could be an ER trap. Nuts. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're in massive trouble, guys. I completely overlooked the ER trap. So what am I going to do? I'm going to just go with, um, I don't know. Uh, let's go with Bader. Um, let's go with Baker. Well, I have to use a D for the challenge, though. So we'll just do Drake. Mm. Yep, we got ourselves into a nasty trap. We are definitely going to fail this. I know there's going to be so many options. If this were the regular Wordle, I would still be extremely nervous, but I could rule some out because I know that, you know, some, what some of the previous ERs have been. Uh, but here we're just in massive trouble. Um, uh, we could do... What's the most logical one? I mean, we, we, it's almost certainly going to look like this, right? Uh, we could do... I'll just do a baler, like a hay baler. No way. Yeah, it was waiver. Ah, that was ooh, that was brutal. Wow. Mm. Where did I go wrong there? Where did I go wrong? I guess it was just not being able to identify the ER trap up front. Um, where did I go wrong? I think first off, Doggy removed you know a possible letter that I could have used later, so that was probably silly. And um, I think Drain was a good guess. I think then Ardor, maybe doubling up on the R's, was not smart. Um, I think Ducks was still a good guess. But I think we needed to I, I get that E involved and identify the potential ER trap sooner. And yeah. And I could have probably done something a little bit better than Drake. Yeah, actually, Drake was terrible. Why on earth did I use the R there? I still think I had too many options. You know, it would probably have been like a one in five. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have been that bad, but that's too bad. 
So let's just, you know, make sure that uh, oh, we don't play as sloppy tomorrow, right, guys? Um, but we are going to obviously honor the letter D. And uh, you can start with whatever word you'd like, but you have to maintain that D until you've got the answer. Okay, guys? Hope you enjoyed seeing a pretty good round in the actual Wordle with M. And I hope you guys enjoyed the fail in the demo round. We're not going to make it happen tomorrow. No way. And, of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next challenge edition of Wordle with Art.